This is how to set up your Google OAuth credentials so that you can connect any Google app to your N8N workflows. So to get started within any N8N workflow, simply drop whatever Google app you're trying to connect with into your workflow, double click, and then here we're going to select our credential and create a new credential. Here, click on open docs, and here it's gonna give us all of the instructions we need uh, to get started. And these are the exact five steps I'm gonna be walking through in this video. So the first thing is creating a Google Cloud account. So here in the prerequisites, we can just click on this one, and then you'll land here in your Google Cloud console. So I'm already signed in and I can simply just hit console. If you're landing here for the first time, you'll probably see a button here that says sign up for free. So just click that one and follow the sign up process. And afterwards you will land here inside your Google Cloud console. On the top left up here, this is our project picker. So I'm just gonna click into this and then create new project. And I'm just gonna give my project a name. So this will be N8N uh, connection. And if you have an organization set up, you can keep that one selected. Otherwise you can just have no organization. I'm just gonna hit create. And once your project is created, just make sure to pick it now in the dropdown. So we have our new project selected. I'm just gonna open up this navigation menu. And now the next step we need to do is enable the different APIs that we wanna use. So I'm just gonna here underneath APIs and services, click on enabled APIs and services and then enable APIs and services, this blue button at the top here. And here you'll basically be presented with all of the different APIs in the Google ecosystem. What we're most interested in here is the Google Workspace, but what we can easily do at the, as well at the top is simply search. I'm gonna get started with a Google Drive API, and now I can click on the Google Drive API and click enable. And after a couple of seconds, we'll see that our Google Drive API has been enabled. I can simply go back to the API service overview. And now I'm gonna do the same thing for uh, Google Docs. So I can even search Google Docs API at the top here, as well as Google Sheets, Google Calendar API, and of course, Gmail. But don't worry, you don't have to um, enable all of them right away. You can always go back and enable extra services later. So now with our APIs enabled, the next thing we need to do is set up our OAuth consent screen. So here again on the left-hand side, I'm just gonna click on OAuth consent screen, click get started. And now we can give our app a name. So I'm just again I'm gonna call this one N8N connection and we need to select a user support email. So most likely you should just select your own email address here and then click next. And now we have a choice between making this an internal or an external app. So if you are a Google Workspace user and you're using this for your company, I highly recommend using the internal app. And this way it will be available to all users within your organization. However, maybe if you're just using your private Gmail account, what you'll need to do is click external. This one's a little bit more complicated. So this is the one that I'm going to use for this uh, demo. So I'm just gonna click external. And now we also need to give an additional contact uh, info email address. Again, I would recommend just putting your own email address in here. This will be the email address where you'll receive any notifications if there are issues with your project. Click uh, to agree to the terms and then hit continue. And now I can hit create. And now with our OAuth consent screen uh, set up, the final thing we need to do here is click on create OAuth client. You could also click on clients on the left-hand side here, or at any time in the navigation menu under APIs and services, click on credentials. But here I'm just gonna select create OAuth client. It's going to be a web application. We can give our application a name. I'm gonna stick with the same one, N8N connection. And now the only thing we need to add here is an authorized redirect URI. If we go back to our original N8N workflow where we started this process, you'll see here in the settings, it's asking for a client ID and a client secret. That's what we're gonna get in a second, but it's also giving us this redirect URL. So I'm just gonna to click to copy this one. And back in our Google Cloud project on the uh, OAuth client ID setup, I'm just gonna add this URL in here and hit create. And now we're already provided with our client ID. So I'm gonna copy this one over and drop this back here in N8N. To access our client secret, we're just gonna hit okay here. And now in the client section, I wanna click on this N8N connection. And we can see here client secret. I'm just gonna copy this one and paste this back here in N8N. And now if you set this up as an internal app, you can just go right ahead and sign in with Google. However, if you have set this up as an external app, there is one more step that we need to do. 
So back in our Google Cloud uh, project, here underneath audience, we're gonna click on this one. So here you have two options. Either you can publish your app, or otherwise what you can do is add test users. If you do not add a test user or publish your app, this will not work. So what I would recommend is if you're just using this uh, personally for your own email address, just go ahead and add your email address in here as a test user, and then hit save. And now back in N8N, we can test this out. I'm just gonna select sign in with Google. I'm going to select the email address that I used and just added as a test user. And I'm going to allow N8N Cloud to access my Google Drive. And here we can see the connection was successful. And we can see here in N8N that account has been successfully connected. What I would recommend always is changing the uh, name of your credential. So I might call this one Google Drive Yun, especially if you're working with a larger team, it's important to make sure you know which credentials you're using. I'm just gonna hit save. And now to test this out, we should be able to see in this Google Drive action that it's successfully able to see the different files in my Google Drive. So that connection's looking good. Now to connect to any of the remaining Google services, this is a lot easier now. We simply need to go in again, create a new credential. Now we don't need to do that whole process of the client ID, client secret that is already saved. All we need to do is the part of the OAuth and signing in with Google. So again, select the same account that you used as your test user, hit continue and the connection is successful. Now, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, it would mean a great deal if you could give it a like and also subscribe to the 9X channel. Now, if you're watching this, chances are you've landed in N8N and you're interested in building your very own AI agents, perhaps AI agents that can interact with all of the Google services we have now connected. I actually have a full tutorial breaking down how you can get started with N8N AI agents. So click here to check that one out. And otherwise, until next time, happy automating.